In the context of digital publishing, it is very, very important to talk about intellectual property rights. It's a world that is leaning so much on aggregation and curation, which can become jargon for plagiarism. And I think the only thing that we can insist on as publishers spending money, investing in solid journalism, creating original content, is at least the person who's aggregating from you, the publisher that's aggregating from you, should link back honestly and attribute the content back to you. Because without that, it's a free for all. Everyone's just picking it up and sharing it on social media and sharing it on their sites and it's just not going anywhere. That's one. Of course, there's technology that allows you to track uh, pl plagiarism, but technology is sort of limited. What if, um, what if you take my idea? There's no technology that can track the picking up of the idea. Also, uh, if I've come up with a new concept, let's say we've come up with something which we call the Q rant, which allows anybody to pick up a mobile phone and talk about whatever it is that's bothering them or the issue that they... And I find somebody else do the Q rant by another name. How do you, What do you do about that? So I think there has to be self-regulation that comes in because nobody has deep enough pockets nor the bandwidth in terms of time to actually go into um, legal wars on this. So I think it has to be a lot of... Uh, self-regulation a lot of just like you know we talked for so long about uh, the ethics of journalism and honest journalism I think the honesty of IPR is as important